And welcome to the Eve and Malk Safety Show. I am most definitely still Malk. And I'm Eve. We've been talking about categories and I think it's time we probably moved on to categories three and four and what they mean and what we need to do to be category three and four. Yeah, so so far we've looked at categories B, one and two, which are all single channel. Two was introducing some checking, but still only single channel in those um, components in the safety related part of the control system. The next two categories, three and four, actually look very, very similar. So both of those are gonna have redundancy. They're gonna be dual channel, um, which means you're gonna need um, two inputs, two logics, and two outputs. In reality, you may not actually have two of each component because they can be combined into one, but you need to have that functionality twice um, in each of those sections. So if we've got redundancy, we're kind of fine. We don't need anything else. Well, so that's what some people might think. And actually, the important thing is if you've got redundancy, you still have to have checking between those two channels. So that's going to be your diagnostic coverage. You need to have that monitoring between the two channels because that way you can see if there's a failure in one component and make sure that the other component is then able to um, maintain the safety function. So with both category three and category four, a single failure will not lead to a loss of the safety function because you have that redundancy. Um, the difference between category three and four, however, is that level of diagnostic coverage and how likely you are to catch those failures. So in category three, you only have to have a diagnostic coverage of at least 60%. So there is a possibility that you could have um, an undetected failure and then another, un another failure afterwards, which could then lead to a loss of the safety function with that accumulation of faults. However, category four, you have to make sure that accumulation of faults can never lead to a loss of the safety function. So you have to detect every um, failed danger in any component before it becomes a problem. So you either detect it before the next demand on the safety function, um, or you have to consider an accumulation of faults if an accumulation could happen, and that can never lead to a loss of the safety function. So category four is just that extra level of you can never have um, an accumulation of faults, but you can never have a failure leading to a loss of the safety function. So I'm getting the hang of this now. I'm going to go category five and then I'll never have any incidents. Sure, you, you do that. 